Hello, this is Donna Ratchford from Integration Inspiration, and I'm here with tips on how to create a Google Site homepage for your classroom. I use this Google Site homepage as a hub for students to use, and I am integrating it with Google Classroom as well. So here I use the template for uh, Google Sites Classroom and I uploaded an image. I just created a Bitmoji scene and saved it to my Google Drive. And then on the header, I click change image, select the image from my Google Drive. You can also upload an image here. You can change the header type if you do not want it to be this large and change it to fit your needs and rename it just by clicking in the text box to name it whatever you want it to name it. Make sure you create a name here. Next, I provided an overview of my classroom and what they will see. Next, on the pages tab, I created a student portal and parent portal page. I clicked the stoplight to hide them from navigation. It just says show, but you, you can either show it. And when you click show, what that does is there is a link either on the top or the side, depending on how you customize your page. But if you don't want something to show up, you can just click hide from navigation. So I created a page called student portal. Next, I double click and I got this option button where you can either add text, an image from your Google Drive, upload an image from your computer or device, upload a or insert something from your Google Drive uh, besides images, could be a slide, doc, form, whatever it's in your Google Drive, and also the embed button, which you would use if you're going to embed something like a YouTube video or anything that requires embedding. So I have embedded a wakelet and I will show you that a little bit later. So like I said, I created this image for the student portal and parent portal in Canva, saved it to my drive, added it, and next, once you add that image, there's an option to insert a link. I've attached the link. You can link to a website or you can link to another page on your Google site. So I linked it to the student portal page, the same thing with the parent portal. And this is inspired from Jennifer Finley. Next, I created an about me section. I did not put a lot about me. I just put a little blurb and I may add uh, something for like meet the teacher a little bit later on as the year progresses or as I have time. So next I'm going to show you my student portal page. My student portal page, I uh, added a header, a separate header for that page. Next, using forms from Ladybug teacher files and um, I can't remember the, I think it was another Jennifer Finley resources. I provided the daily check-in. I just put an image and then I put a link to the Google form that we'll use to check in daily. So they would, students would click that link and it'll pull up. It'll pull up the beginning of the day check-in where students will check in each day. And then the next will take them to the agenda page. So that is a sub page. Whenever you create a web page, you can create a sub page, which is just a page house under that one. So, um, and it just says on here, add sub page, add sub page. And uh, there's a separate page for the agenda. And, it will, and here there will be my agenda for the week. I teach a pullout class, so we do. I don't. I won't have my students each day. They will come to me a few times a week, and I will have the agenda for those. But you can put whatever agenda that you need to put on there. Next, I have my. Oh, let me go back to the student portal. And I did the same thing for these. I created an image, and then I clicked the button to add a link. Same thing for there here. And to put text, you can just double click like I showed you earlier and that button. And so I did that. And to make it bigger, you would just make it title. To make it smaller, you would put normal text or whatever you would like on there. I also put a link to our Google Classroom. So each day 
students will go to our hub, which is this webpage. They will do their check-in. They will look at the agenda for today. And next, they will go to our Google Classroom. Our, and that is where they will go to see the link to our meeting each time we meet. I also, so this is where the embed tool is. I created a wakelet list of websites for students to do enrichment. And if you would like a link to this wakelet, I'll put it in my description box so that you can access this wakelet with ideas for enrichment because anybody can use these websites, uh, except for some of them require subscriptions and things like that. Next, I'm going to have my students create portfolios where they will choose samples from their work. And I just put a link to a sample portfolio in here. But I'm going to show you what embed is. So if you, let's say you go to Wakelet and you create one, you double click here, you click embed, and you may have a URL for what you want to embed, or you may have code. And the code just looks like HTML code. You will just paste it on there. And that's how you embed something. Next, I have my parent portal page. It is also hidden from the navigation. And my parent portal does have a sub page. It has a contact me page that I'm, I'm still in the process of working on adding. I'm going to make a little bullet with different ways to contact me. So I'm going to put a link to my email, a Google voice phone number for parents to call text, preferably, and a link to our Remind. So some parents do not prefer not to use the Remind app, and I completely understand. So that's why I'm going to have the Remind, the Google Voice text number, and my school email. Last, on my parent portal, I also uh, included another button. So you can put buttons when you go to Insert. You have these options, so you don't have to double click. You can also go to the insert tab. You can insert text box, images, embed, use Google Drive. You can also change the layout of your page. So you, maybe you want it to just use one of these layouts that they have available, or you can just make it your own. Here are some other items that you can add if you want a table of contents in your page, an image carousel, which I will probably add to our amazing work page or I may create another page later that just has photos and put an image carousel to put our class photos on there. You can put dividers and this is just how a divider looks and it just helps you organize your page and make it look uh, neat. You can add uh, YouTube directly by clicking on the YouTube button, a calendar, a map, link to docs, slides, sheets, forms, and charts. So these are all Google products. So what I did was create a button and a button is just a, uh, what it says, you name it, and then you link it to uh, buttons linked to other pages on your uh, web page. So you would use this when you don't want an image or you don't need an image. So I created a button for, um, and you can link it to a website as well. To, for parents, when they click on it, it'll email me a link to our school website and a link to our uh, program website. I teach elementary gifted, and our gifted program is called Clip. Next, I used a parent information form. This is a link to a uh, Google form. I actually just embedded this Google form by using the form button right here. And so it takes them straight to that form. And the parents will use this to communicate information about their child. And I got this, I think, from Jennifer Finley as well. I also put more buttons. I put a button for them to link directly to my student work page and some different tutorials on how to use Google Classroom because there are some people who may need that. Next, I have a what to expect this year. And it just has, it's not complete because <laughs> school hasn't started and there's some things I don't even know yet. So hopefully they'll be updated soon. I also created this Google Meet expectation. I got this from TPT and I can provide the link to that as well. So I'll try to go back into the description box and provide links to the things that I use in this tutorial. Here is a uh, our curriculum information, which part of our gifted program, the students do an activity where they kind of guess and figure out what we're learning. So I don't want to put the what we're learning about just yet. I'm going to wait till the students guess it and then I'll put that on there because just in case some of them try to sneak and look. 
next, there, here's my newsletter. I'll be updating this monthly uh, because, like I said, I don't see my students daily, so I wouldn't do a weekly newsletter, so I'll do a monthly newsletter. And I think that may be all. Of course, like I said, I have my amazing work page. So this is how you do a Google site for your classroom for updates and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.